Conventional power plants, such as coal plants, produce a tremendous amount of waste heat. In fact, uh, in a coal power plant, only about 33% of the energy used goes into producing electricity, and the rest of it goes into waste heat. And what do we do then? We dump that waste heat somewhere, like in a cooling tower, or even worse, into a river. Combined heat and power, we call it CHP for short, um, uses that waste heat to do something with it, something useful. You might have heard CHP referred to as cogeneration. That's what people used to call it. And the idea is that uh, if you're producing heat, you might as well use it to produce power. Or if you're producing power, you might as well use it to produce heat. This diagram that you're looking at here is a diagram of a, a city in Denmark called Kalundborg. And this city developed what they call an industrial ecology system, which you now find in other parts of the world. They were the first. And, and what they do is they, they use that classic idea that waste from one process becomes an input to another process. And a big part of that is waste heat from the power station uh, going someplace else or waste heat from someplace else going back to the power station, as well as some other things like waste materials. So that's industrial ecology. In Indiana, there, um, there is a big steel plant. Actually, there are a couple of them that are using cogeneration or CHP. Uh, the big one there used to be called U.S. Steel, and it was bought out by an international corporation called ArcelorMittal. Here's the name right here. And this company realized that they produce just a tremendous amount of waste heat in their blast furnaces used for turning um, iron ore into steel. It's a very, very hot process. And in the past, they would just get rid of that waste heat. So what ArcelorMittal is doing now is they're taking that waste heat left over from their steel making process and using it to turn generators in a power plant to generate electricity. And they can generate power at a rate of 90 megawatts. They use that power and that waste heat together in their rolling mill. Uh, a rolling mill is a place that takes uh, big old chunks of steel and runs them through rollers and turns them into plate, flat bar, beams, that sort of thing. So they um, did some calculations and discovered that they are spending 50% of what they would have spent on power, they're spending 50% on power of what they would have spent had they just been buying electricity from the local utility. Cogeneration or CHP is uh, quite common in big places like hotels, hospitals, uh, things like that, and college campuses. In fact, we have uh, a little bit of cogeneration at the LCC campus. Here is a diagram from Cornell University back in New York. This is a big university, and they generate their own power. So here's a steam generator, and you know that heat um, turn, creates steam, and that turns the generator, and that uh, generates voltage and, and current. So they generate electricity on their campus, and then they use the waste heat to heat their buildings. Now, there's a line here that says waste heat can also chill water in an absorption system. We have not talked about absorption yet. We probably should. Absorption is a method of uh, air conditioning in which you use heat 
to change the state of the refrigerant flowing through the system. And if you have ever gone out in a, an RV, a recreational vehicle, or a small trailer, you have an absorption system in your refrigerator there. Um, those refrigerators run on liquid natural gas. Why is that? Because the gas produces a flame which produces heat which runs the chilling system. So that's what that is. Um, here's a diagram from Cornell University. And it is true that when you make the heat or the power in the first place, you are emitting greenhouse gases. But once you've done that, then it's essentially a free process. You are essentially getting free power uh, that is emission free. And all of this is why CHP or cogeneration is considered one of the primary strategies in the energy transition from fossil fuels uh, toward more renewable sources.